The death of George Floyd in Minneapolis while in police custody has ignited new debate about policing. How far should reform go? In Baltimore, federal judge James Bradar said today the question's already been answered with the consent decree the city signed in 2017. There is nothing in the decree about defunding the police or abolishing the police, the judge said. Such reform options may exist in other cities, but not here, such as the consequence of entering into a consent decree. The judge also reminded city officials the consent decree requires full staffing of the police department. Hundreds more officers, the judge said, must be hired. The judge used the July 1st shooting of a man in his basement to press for better mental health resources outside police response. The man was suffering a behavioral crisis. Body-worn camera footage showed the man was shot and wounded when he pointed a gun. The judge noted no mental health specialist had been called. Why, you ask, the judge said, because there was and is no such infrastructure currently available in Baltimore to support officers in such circumstances, especially in the middle of the night. Gaps in how we are organized to deal with this broad category of health care issues lead directly to this sort of bad police encounter. The judge gave a vote of confidence to Police Commissioner Michael Harrison, unlike before, he said. He now believes the department has leadership to both implement reforms and reduce crimes. Referring to recent budget cuts imposed on the police department by the city council, the judge expressed concern that, he, as he put it, the city may be losing sight of its obligations, its financial obligations other the consent decree. The acting city solicitor answered that by saying even without a debate over defunding the police, the police department's budget cuts were required and, and were imposed due to the pandemic. Reporting live tonight at Federal Court, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.